If the league features more than 100 athletes from kids all the way to young adults who have different physical or developmental disabilities. You're looking at some video of the team in action that we got last summer. They've been playing at a local park here in Mason, but these new fields are really going to help get rid of some of the barriers that their players run into. So here is what they're going to look like. This is just the conceptual rendering. The new fields will be made of a synthetic turf, so they're not going to have any like raised surfaces either. The whole team is going to be able to sit together in larger customized dugouts. There's even going to be accessible walkways and things like that too. And one board member told me this moment's been years in the making. Yeah, we do great on the fields we've been playing on, but having the larger dugouts and the accessibility to get to the dugouts will be great because now all the kids will be able to be in there together, you know, playing and talking and hanging out with their buddies and all that. So that's one of the best things about it. So. The league's been working with the city of Mason, the Parks and Recs Department, among other community partners to make them make this happen. They've had contributions and grants come in from all over. They've raised over two million dollars. Their goal actually had to be elevated to keep up with logistic costs to two and a half million dollars. They're just shy of that, but they have enough to get started with that groundbreaking tonight at six o'clock. So pretty exciting stuff. I'll send it back to you guys. Very excited, Chris, and thank you. The Mason Challenge League is still fundraising to finalize some of the finishing touches out there. New bleachers, bat racks. We have information on how you can donate at Local12.com. Thanks for checking out Local 12's YouTube channel. Click the links and hit subscribe so you can be notified anytime we post new stories.